Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ben Stone and you are watching CanalGratis.com and today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be discussing in depth choosing a musky reel. This can be uh, maybe a tricky thing to get into if you're just starting off musky fishing and maybe choosing one reel to do a bunch of different things equally well can be maybe a tough task. So I'm going to be talking about the different things you should consider, the different things you can look for in a reel. I'm also going to be passing along some of my personal preference when it comes to using a musky fishing reel. So the first thing that you want to consider when you are going about uh, choosing a musky reel is you want to know kind of what you want that reel to do for you. So if you're just starting off, maybe you want a reel that's going to do a bunch of different techniques equally well, or maybe if you're into it, then you want to start advancing and getting you know, technique specific setups and you want to be considering what that specific reel is going to be doing every time it's being used. So the three big categories that I like to break it up into are going to be like your bucktail fishing your rubber fishing, and then sort of like your miscellaneous like topwater crankbaits, those are all baits that are kind of throw into that same category. So the big two though are gonna be your bucktails and your rubber baits. These are probably the two most common musculars thrown on the market, and they're probably the most common methods to have kind of like a, a technique specific setup for. The other thing you want to consider is the speed of your reel. So this is going to boil down to obviously statistics as well as your personal preference because for me I'm a lot different than what most other people choose in a musky reel. So the first thing you want to consider is do you want a fast or a slow retrieve and that's going to depend of course on the kind of baits you're fishing. Generally if you're musky fishing and you're using like rubber baits you want a higher speed reel so when you're pulling on that bait you can have a fast reel to catch back up on that slack. Or on the flip side, if maybe you're fishing top waters or slower style baits, then you want to maybe choose a slow reel like this 5.31 Pro Rex. The other thing to consider that maybe might trump some of these things that I just talked about is the ease uh, at which you're comfortable reeling into bait. And what I mean by that is say I want to fish a bucktail very, very fast. If I choose something like an 8.1 reel, that's going to reel in this bucktail at a very, very high rate of speed. But the negative side effect to choosing a high speed reel to fish a bait like a bigger bucktail is the resistance from that bucktail on the gears of this reel is going to be a lot more. So it's going to be a lot tougher on your wrists to crank this bucktail in, but on the flip side to that you are gaining that increased speed. Now if I do the same thing, if I throw a bigger bucktail like this one here on a 5.3 to 1, a slower speed reel, it's going to be a lot easier to reel in that bucktail. It's going to be a lot easier on my wrist but that bait is going to be coming in slow. So you can either have more resistance, you're reeling slower, but the bait is coming in faster, or you can have less resistance, reel faster, but the bait is coming in slower. So for me personally, I always kind of run the slower speed reel when I'm using a bucktail. I just think it's a lot easier to reel faster and have it be less resistance than to reel slower and just have more resistance. I also fish all day, so being able to kind of keep the stress off my wrists is a big thing for me because I am fishing usually sun up to sun down. I don't want to wear my wrists out and musky fishing is already a lot of work. It's throwing around these big huge baits so the less wear and tear that I put on my wrists is better for me. Now as far as gear ratios goes, there's kind of a spectrum of things. You have of course the slow stuff and the high stuff and then you have the stuff that's in between. Now if you're a beginner musky fisherman and you're looking for something that is going to do everything equally well then obviously it's a no brainer. Choose something right in that middle range but I would say middle range which is generally like a 6.3 to 1 I think is like the most common. Uh, it might be 6.1. That's kind of like that middle range. So if you're looking for maybe one reel that's going to do everything equally well, I would say 5.3 into the 6 range is going to be best for you. I think going up into that high speed 8 to 1, even higher than that, is just a little bit more of an advanced thing to do. And generally if you're choosing a reel like this, you are taking musky fishing very seriously. You're you know expecting the wear and tear and all that to come with. If you're just getting into it, maybe more casual with it. A slower speed reel is going to work fine. It's not going to not catch you fish. It's just going to be less ideal for certain bait types. Now, of course, the biggest thing that's probably going to dictate what you're buying is what your price point is. So right now I'm going to run through a few different models from low price range to high price range that I would recommend. If you're really trying to be cost efficient and get something that uh, isn't very expensive, I would say something like an Abu Garcia C4 is going to be a good reel. Those are a round reel, going to have very durable gears, 
What I don't suggest doing is really cheaping out with some of these uh, cheaper like low profile reels like the Max Toro and some of the other cheaper round reels. Those just aren't going to hold up for you. Musky fishing is really about buying what is going to last and what's going to be most durable because when you are throwing big baits like this it does put a lot of wear and tear on your reels and even some of the more expensive reels will just not last very long. So. I do recommend that if you're going to get into this sort of thing that you do kind of maybe save up for something that is going to last you longer because it's going to suck when you sit there and, and, and cheap out on a reel and it breaks on you. I think it's a lot more effective to maybe save up for something that's going to be more durable. Now as far as that mid price range goes, I think musky reels now are kind of like averaging out around $200 to $250. Daiwa Alexa win the newer model, like the graphite gray with the black and white wind grips is a decent reel. I used those before. The old black and blue one is not very good, had level wind issues, but usually, you know, musky reels right now are stuck right around that $300 price point, and, and I just recommend spending that money because you're going to get a reel that's going to perform very well, it's going to be comfortable to fish with all day, and it's going to last you very long. So I've been using the Daiwa Pro Rexes this season, which I think retail, like, you can find them for 300 bucks. I think standard retail price is 320 the other really popular musky reel on the market is the Shimano Tranks. I personally don't have any experience with those, but I have heard very, very, very good things about those reels as well. But in my personal testimony, the Daiwa Pro Rexes has been good for the most part. I've had a few small issues with them, but for the most part, they've been a very solid reel. I get really good casting distance, very low profile, and the one thing that I do really like is the big power handle. It just makes cranking in bigger bucktails so much easier. And kind of to, to finalize the video here, uh, maybe I'll kind of make a chart graphic here, but uh, in my opinion, slow reels are going to be better for big blades and top waters. That mid range is going to be good for things like walk the dog jerk baits, smaller bucktails, and I would say probably like swim baits. And then finally that high speed reel, maybe fishing very, very small bucktails. You know, something with double eight blades on it, that's going to be good for burning those blades, otherwise those higher speed reels are going to work extremely well for big rubber baits so you can pick up on that slack, keeping tension, and most importantly when you hook a fish you're able to keep pressure on that fish because the one thing that you might find with a slower speed reel is struggling to keep tension on that fish. So you got to be mindful of that if you are going to use a slower speed reel and you hook into a fish just make sure to keep that tension on it can be kind of difficult. I have had this happen to me before where I've had a fish eat a bucktail on a slower speed reel and I just haven't been able to keep up with the fish and it's actually come off. So that is something to keep in mind, but what it really boils down to is the money you want to spend and the techniques that you want to do. If you're looking for one reel, something in the six range, and again, I do recommend spending the money to buy something that is going to be durable, that's going to perform well, that's going to be comfortable for you to fish with, and that is going to last. So those are kind of my thoughts when it comes to using a reel. I just kind of covered the very, very basic things, and this video is more dedicated towards the beginner. Of course, if you do have any questions that revolve around musky reels or just gear in general for musky fishing, I am always active in the comment section below, so you can leave me a comment, I'll respond, and I might even make a full-on video because as we move in from open water to ice fishing, there's that in-between time where there's really not much to do. So if I can make videos that help you guys out and uh, pass on information, then that works pretty well for me. So I appreciate you watching this video. I will see you next week, and uh, thank you for watching.